Whoa! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> it's just like the second I went live, I look over it in chat. There's just this like all this spam chat console stuff going on. Anyway, hi. Hello. This is a bit of a surprise stream. That's my fault. Thanks, ABK. He said that <laughs> the command block output to false. Like, <laughs> I, was like, I look over it, just like Brrr. Uh surprise stream. It's not a surprise to me or my patrons or my mods, but maybe to you, most of you, because I totally forgot to mention it yesterday. Told you it's been a crazy week ever since I got back from vacation. A lot of things have been going on. As you, as you, most of you found out yesterday, uh, it was finally announced. Tomorrow, Hermitcraft Season 8 kicks off. If you hadn't heard already, there it is. The, today, I get to just, uh, there's no more mystery now. I get to just talk about it. Tomorrow, the videos are coming out. Mine is scheduled for 7 a.m. Pacific time. So that's my typical release time. So we'll be st sticking to that. And I can guarantee there's going to be a lot of Hermitcraft to watch tomorrow. <laughs> a lot of Hermitcraft to watch. So... Make sure you get your snacks tonight taken care of because it's going to be bright and early. You're going to be getting some some videos in your feed. So, yes, already recorded, uploaded, scheduled. It's done. Uh, I've actually been recording since Monday. <laughs> Took a time a little bit on, on getting this first episodes done to make sure we all had something to show. So, yeah, I've been recording since Monday. I got back from vacation actually Sunday night and we started recording Monday morning. So, yeah, I've been, been all week kind of doing some of that. But we've also had, this is third day in a row of streaming. And today we've actually got two streams planned. Because later tonight, in six hours from now, we're going to be doing Friday night stabby stabby time. Among Us time. Yay! <laughs> He's happy. He's happy. Uh, and so am I. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've played... Among Us. It feels like a month. They played without me last week. That felt bad. I missed it. Uh, I definitely missed it. But I was on the beach enjoying myself, so I guess I didn't miss it too much, did I? <laughs> Cal promised me she wasn't gonna get involved in the hype train. Come on, Cal. Cal's gonna Cal's gonna be leading us, uh, part of the duo leading us through the tour today. Cal and Real, amazing moderators on my Patreon server. Uh, they got a Skyblock server. This is their event server set up. Uh, where they've been playing some Skyblock. And there's some things to see here. So I think their season's coming to an end soon. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to talk about that. But I think so. Anyway, uh, let's get the thank yous out of the way so we can start the tour. Rocket Queen, 100 bits, thank you. Ogrok, seven months strong. Wither Wings, five months. Appreciate that. Can't wait to see the new content we have in, uh, I have in store for you. I can't wait either. I'm I'm super excited about. I don't know if I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna play Among Us probably to almost midnight, like usual, and then I'm gonna get up and, and see everybody's reaction at 7 a.m. to Hermitcraft Season 8. I can't wait. I would do a premiere, but I'm super skeptical about those premieres and like how they impact video performance. I've been scared to pull the trigger on a premiere. Um, uh oh, Phantom's coming. This is like Third Life all over again. Blame Eclipse. They're after her. <laughs> Holy smokes. What is happening? What? What? Yeah, what? What? The crit? <laughs> Just dropped 50 gifted subs. Holy smokes. Wow. Huge gift sub bomb. My goodness. What the crit? 50 subs. I, I really have to enunciate your name because <laughs> I do have the family friendly tag on this stream and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for that. Super kind. If you got gifted a sub, you guys know what to do. You know the drill. Make sure you say thank you. That was super kind. Super amazing. For Lita, thank you so much for those two months. Cal with a thousand bits getting that hype train rolling. Cal, you know I appreciate you and everything you do. The Pankua, thank you so much for the uh, 100 biddies. Hope I still remembered how to say your name right. The Pankua, right? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. I will forget again. You'll have to remind me again later, I'm sure. Calendra, thank you so much for the $25. Can you dig it? Not dropping the bits, dropping the donation. Cal, too much. Too kind. Too kind. Lag007 with 100 bits. 
Still controls ABK gifting out 10 gifted subs. ABK, how much have you done this week, man? It's been crazy. Come on. Super duper kind of you, my friend. Plus, you know you got other stuff. You've been doing so much stuff lately for me, man. Appreciate you. Texillerate, thank you for the sub with this Amazon Prime. If you guys got a Prime sub you're not using, feel free. It doesn't have to be on me, but at least make sure you're using those Prime subs. If you guys don't know, I mean, maybe this isn't well known, but if you have an Amazon Prime account, just link it to your Twitch account and they give you a free sub to give out. I pretty much, I think I give my free sub to Skizzle Man every month. I should, I should bounce that around. Uh, but yeah, that's what you guys should do. If you got, if you got Amazon Prime, make sure you're linked and all that stuff. I think a mod can post directions on how to do that. Unless all my mods are busy here with the tour. <laughs> but it's a cool thing to do. Rotate it around to your favorite streamers, you know, month to month. It's fun. Uh, any who's uh, what the crit again. Thank you. 50 gifted subs. This is amazing. Borgo with an insane five, how many? five thousand bits and Borgo dropping five gifted subs. Blow my mind. Thank you, Borgo. Amazing. Purple Owl with 100 bits. What is happening? This is the third day in a row I'm streaming and everybody's being like super generous once again. Oh, my goodness. How many? I'm going to break this button today. I'm going to break the button. My head can only explode so many times. The last data. A hundred and fifty dollar donation. That's a lot of money. You sure you didn't hit an extra zero or something? I was getting nervous. People typo their donations. Especially when they're like that. Crazy. The last data. Holy smokes. Uh, here's to another great season of Hermacraft. I'm so excited. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I hope I hope you and many others are super excited about season eight because I know I am. I know I am. Magic. It's going to be a magical season. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. And you guys know I got good bones. Right? <laughs> Glimmer Girl, thank you so much. Gifting five gifted subs. Appreciate you have to hit the button i can't i can't not hit the button you gifted you get a gift sub bomb ruby red 100 bits eclipsa <laughs> i forgive you for the phantoms <laughs> thousand bits donut death tier one sub 1k feet above 100 bits we got a raid in the house welcome raiders raise works raid in the house how are you guys doing Ray, thank you so much my dude for that raid super kind of you hope you had a good stream welcome welcome raiders just joining Come on over from Ray's. Um, again, appreciate you heading on over. Ray, appreciate you trusting your audience to, to me today. Uh, we're going to be touring the Skyblock server here on my Patreon server. Look at all these cool, amazing people around me. And uh, yeah, Skyblock world. There's going to be there's going to be stuff that they did in Skyblock. It's going to be amazing, I'm sure. And uh, we got a little tour set up in front of us to check it all out. Rose 706, thanks for the sub. Denka Derek, 100 bits. Real, thank you for the 300 bits. Ruby Red, 100 bits. Zach the Dragon, also with a raid. Zach, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. All they can say is you're welcome. Oh, do I still have that button? What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> I, I didn't lose that button. I did have to lose one of the buttons on, on my little keypad here for the, uh, you guys know, you know, I always had to put this one. Impulse is a, a bit of a genius, it turns I... out. <laughs> my hero said that. My hero. He said that to me. <laughs> you like lip syncing. <laughs> Look at how far behind everything is. You guys have been so amazing. The, the notifications are super far behind. John C, thank you so much for the two months. Okay, everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting for this tour. All these people have been super patient. You guys have been amazing. We're gonna, you got the hype train, you killed it. I appreciate that and everybody, uh, thanks for being here. I'm gonna hop in with two of my moderators, Cal and Real are gonna help us through this tour. Uh, Cause I don't know where stuff is. I haven't been on this server at all, uh, but I'm sure they're gonna have some neat stuff. All right, so here we go. Let's join them. I might have to do volume checks. Okay, hi. Hey. Hello. Cal, you promised. I don't think I said I promised. Oh, I just said I, okay. I, 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 I can't, but then I, then I could. Oh, you found a way. You sure did. 
You yeah. sure did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I am ready. I think your volumes are okay. I'm sure the chat will say, you know, too loud, too low if you're not. I haven't really heard real speak though. Ah, sorry. There's real. I am here. Okay. It, meters look okay to me. Okay. I'm ready to rock and or roll. Um, you gave me an agenda, okay. didn't you? So should I read it? <laughs> well, uh, I can give you an overview of this version of Skyblock. Will okay. You, uh, pull that up. Yeah, I have it. But uh, th this version of Skyblock, it was the bento box Skyblocks. So everyone could have their own island. And we also had like a top 10 leaderboard type thing. The points were calculated based on the types of blocks that you laid down as well as the number of them. So oh. we didn't intend for it to be a competition, but then it suddenly turned into one. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to put point values on something, you know, it's going to turn into a competition. <laughs> we should have predicted that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, real kind of started it because she realized there was points and then she was just like, well, all right. And then, yeah, Who's everybody kind of person you're talking yeah, about. I'm, I'm um, one of the things I really liked about this version of Skyblock, though, is that not everyone had to start with the same island. Uh, if you look around, there's different island types, and people could choose what island type they started with. Uh -huh. And that was, that was very different and kind of kind of awesome. It, it definitely changed the, the gameplay a little so bit. So are these all around us? Are these the examples of the different types of islands that they could have chose? Yep. Okay. So it also encouraged trading because some islands didn't start with every possible thing. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That's cool. And then there was also this uh, a challenge system as well. I'm not sure because you don't have an island if it will pop it up, but if you do slash is like is space challenges. Okay. I don't have an island. Yeah, it's, it's mad. Should I pick an island real ah, quick? Do I need sure. to generate one? Slash island. Slash island make one. Okay. And of course, I'm gonna pick. Ooh, harder island, huh? It's much harder. <laughs> okay, let's go the harder island. Of course, it's not gonna matter. I'm not actually gonna. Wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now I have an island. So this is if they chose the harder island. Look, you hardly get anything. Oh wow. I went like probably thousands of blocks out. Yeah. Okay. So this is a lot like the Skyblock servers that uh i the skiz and i have played on in the past i see yes it's very similar nice okay so now if you do uh is challenges is challenges oh yeah yeah yeah. lots of stuff here netherite flex Ooh. and some of them we added um the ones at the top row are ones that we added as custom okay wow super cool so you have to get all the items, required items, to complete it, right? Yep, and oh, then that and then will it gives upgrade you your island. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's really cool. Very nice. And you said, what was the name of this this mod to be able to do this? Uh, Bento Box. Bento Box, okay. All right. Yeah, it does, it does remind me of like those servers that Skiz and I used to play on with the economies and stuff like that. Yeah, it's fairly customizable too, and it was pretty simple to, to get figured out and up and going. We really just wanted to give somebody or give people something to do um, in between seasons as it was in between to slow seasons. Down. What? <gasps> what? I mean, yep. This... No, things were slowing down. People were getting oh, okay. bored. Okay, okay. <laughs> We won't, we won't, I won't put you on the spot for uh, any kind of date of a new season or anything, but. Oh, oh, I have a date for you. Are you really going to announce it? We, we don't know yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> that is the date. All right. All right. I was like, wait, I don't see this in my notes. I just see anything about, you know, chat's like, what? Spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> this is officially a TBD. There's, there's probably people on the vanilla server right now building their base and, and listening to the stream and, and just freaked out a little bit. <laughs> a little bit probably. A little, little, little bit of panic ensued. I'm sure they'll be all right. There's probably time left. Um, but this server itself has an end date, doesn't it? It does. It ends on the 20th. Okay. Um, and that is because we need to bring it down to start testing for the next ah, season. Ah, okay, okay. Need to get the, uh, the hardware back right to to start setting up for the next patron season on the vanilla nice 
Absolutely. And I'm assuming it's going to be 117. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. I got a little experience in 117 myself this week. Diamonds at level oh. five, by the way. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, okay, a little spoiler for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I told Azuma and he released a video about it. <laughs> um, what else is going on here? We got okay. winners, right, from points and stuff? To we go... do have winners. Do you okay. want to announce those? Because we haven't officially announced it. I sure can. Do we want to do that up front or do we want to see all of them first and then say who won? Hmm. Uh, I had planned for you to announce it first. Do it we first. Can do whatever you want, boss. Do it first. That way we know when we go to it what place they came in. I do like that. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Where are they? Should we... I feel like we need to go back and look at them. Okay. Do slash is space spawn. Okay. Here we go. Everybody's here. Of course, Draconis is here playing Skyblock. Draconis loves Skyblock. <laughs> oh, he he did not love this one so much because it was so different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with all the economy plugins and the points and stuff. I'm sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> the 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 vanilla Skyblock experience and it, even what we did with uh, Skyblock Evolution wasn't totally vanilla, but it was definitely way more vanilla than than something like this with plugins, so. <laughs> oh, Eclipse of drug him onto this, this one. Well, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like he did terrible. So how should we do this? Should we go third place first? Go for it, boss. Okay. They're ready. They're on the edge of their seats wanting to know who won since this turned into a competition. Okay. I think you did put them in order from first to, to third, right? Okay, so I'm going to go bottom up. Third place. Congratulations, Cal. You're in here. I'll give you the, the personal congratulations. Cal's <laughs> Island with, with Drowsy Lapras, Ruby Red, and Tilt Controls ABK came in third place. How you do that and still have time to mod moderate the server, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Must have had a good team behind you. So congratulations to Cal, Drow Drowsy, Ruby Red, and, and ABK third place in the, in the server here second place eclipsa borgo and draconis with sixty eight thousand six hundred points oh by the way cal you guys had thirty six thousand points thirty six thousand three hundred and thirteen not bad not bad second place congratulations eclipse of borgo draconis well done see he didn't hate it that much if he came in second place and then in first place is there somebody here I can look at that's in this team? Uh, uh. Nobody's in, nobody's here from this team. They're not represented. They, they lose. They have to be here or they lose. Isn't that how it works? He, he may be in chat. Okay, I know just, he works. So. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll give it to him anyway. And I don't know how he pulled this off because I've been keeping him busy. That's a secret. Uh, <laughs> we got first place. Ken... Ashley Cloud and The Doctor with 75,513 points. Congratulations. Congratulations. That sounds like a grind. I can't wait to see what they did. Those are levels as each level equals 100 points. All right. So that was what? 755 levels or something? Sounds like craziness. All right. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to go see what they did. Uh, we do have an order of islands to visit. How many we got today? One, two, three, four, five. Was there anybody that added to the list after that? Nope. All right, five islands. We'll give them each their due time then. Let's do it. Let's check these things out. I'm excited. All right, I'll go ahead. Uh, I'm over at Ken's. If you want to type uh, backslash I is I S warp, huh? and then we'll have the autocomplete for names, and it's going to be Ken. Okay. Here we are. Ken, I, I don't know how Ken is able to do so many different things. Like all the stuff he's done on the vanilla server, and then this. This sounds like there's a Wither boss somewhere named yep. Wither or Not Here I Come. <laughs> I, I think we're pretty much convinced at this point that Ken is just cloning himself because yeah. he's everywhere at all times. And... He's obviously, obviously. Oh, I bet he has that, that little spinny clock thing that, that Hermione had. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. He probably the does time that. Turner. Yeah, the time turner. He's got a time turner. 
I want one of those. <laughs> so it might be easiest to go spec if you want to have a good look at the island. Okay. You can do slash is border to turn off the world borders. Oh, that's so good. That that's go good. Outside. It's, it's just ugly in the background, to be honest. There we go. <laughs> All right, where should we start? I mean, just looking around, I'm overwhelmed already by how many different things there are to see. There's always yeah. Um, they did. Um, they did all of their. They had their mob uh, gallery over here with all of their mobs. It's one of the challenges to have oh. one of each mob type, and uh, they did a cute little. Um, I don't know the nice way of saying like a zoo or mob zoo. Mob I guess. zoo, yeah. Yeah, and um, <laughs> they they built this entire uh, cliff face, uh, which wasn't here the last time I was here, and then I popped on yesterday, and all of a sudden there was this massive cliff face, and I was just like, okay. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. With lighting um, and bushes, yeah. <laughs> just a small little thing. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know how they, how they managed it, but... Uh, you can see that the point values assigned to blocks definitely played a part in almost everybody's builds. The blocks that we use were uh, different. Yeah, okay. So you're going to see a lot of blast furnaces and things that... Oh, I was wondering. Yeah. We... I will say this. This this version of Skyblock definitely made those of us that are, are somewhat builders uh, think about pallets and block choices differently. So we may use that moving forward in regular seasons because it was kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool, like, like this pillar right here where they mixed in the blast furnaces, like that ended up making it look really cool, giving it some extra detail that you would never think to do. Nice, yep. very neat. I'm guessing the emerald blocks were obviously part of the value here. Um, yep. What else have I seen? What about these, uh, what I, oh my gosh, I forgot what these things are called. The, the spawners for the nether. What are they called? Respawn anchors? Yeah, respawn anchors. Thank you. <laughs> I had to think about it, so. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm not alone. Excellent. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I told you it's been a long week. My brain is about mush by now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They have uh, one of these buildings has a ton of villagers in it. I think it's this big one right here in the middle. They had uh, they so many villagers. Um, and they had it pretty early on. I was pretty impressed with Time how blocks. quickly they got all their villagers up. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I got a soft spot for villagers. Uh, villagers are just so powerful. Let's see, are they through here? Where are they at? Uh, straight down, I believe. Straight down? It's yep. like this uh, wood town hall looking building. Oh, okay, in this building. It's a cool building too, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, here they are. Here they are, one of everything. Oh, that's a lot of work. And they were essential too, because some of the challenges were things like get uh, a terracotta block of every color, so you had to get masons. Wow. And the server handled all this, huh? <laughs> You're like, well, eh. it, start, it started struggling when we got to uh, okay. Draconis' is the island, Draconis and Eclipse oh, and Borgo. Oh, I see. Flame we'll, we'll go see okay. that. Okay. Yeah, this is that's a lot of work getting all those villagers like that, I'm sure. I mean, I know yeah. for certain because I've done it. Yeah, I just it, it challenged people, right? Like people that are redstoners were challenged to to be builders for a change and people that are normally builders actually had to do some redstone and it was it was fun watching everybody you know, play in differently. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think we all really appreciated the challenge it, and it was something that I hope that we get to do again on the event server. So speaking of redstone challenges, one of the, the, the challenge on the server, I was going to say struggle for some, but challenges on this server is that you actually get minus points for hoppers. Oh. So you gotta and come so, up with cool ways to do it. Uh oh, the wither's on the yeah. loose. Wait, how is he able to fly around a glass box and? So in in the uh, island settings, you can set whether or not mobs can destroy items. Oh. And so people would. Um, this was actually Ozfellow's idea, and everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, that's a good idea." Um, he contained a wither within a slime chunk, so you get slime and wither roses. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> That's smart. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got the collection system underneath. Ken says that they're... I was, I was admiring their kelp farm, but Ken says it's, it's broken. What happened to it? Flying machine break or something? I was trying to figure out how you guys were doing the water collection up top. Pretty cool. But it, Ken said they broke it. No. <laughs> yeah, these these are Ken's island was full of of builders, uh, not redstone. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, flying machines usually do get messed up. That's all. That's an easy fix, though. Pretty cool design. Anyway, and of course they made it look good. See, at least then the builders they do the redstone farms, but then they still manage to like spend the time to still make it look good where most other redstoners would just throw up you know stone blocks and whatever <laughs> call it good absolutely Ooh, what's in this building over here now i'm just gonna peek inside of everything okay sugar cane so all the farms basically it, it, it's like the challenge was just make all the farms it feels like passive mob farm everything here yeah, emerald wow. blocks were worth quite a bit, and so uh, villager trading was a huge uh, deal. Yeah, yeah. So to go all the farms to get all the different ways of getting emeralds, use use all the trading to get the blocks. That is still a grind. I bet they wish they could have done some sort of uh, raid farm or something instead. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Here's the uh, the sky block stone generator. Ill mango special it looks like. Dupe and TNT even. Come on, you guys couldn't. You guys couldn't. Get your own TNT crafted? You had to dupe it? Sand was very hard to come by. Mm. <laughs> it was... Um, okay. The only way to get sand was through challenges. And uh, one repeatable challenge, you turned in a stack of cactus for one sand. Wow, okay. So, okay, I, I get it now. <laughs> I'll let it slide, but come on. Dupe and TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Better not see any dupe of TNT on the regular vanilla server. I think you guys allow it though, don't you? Yeah, we do. We allow it on Hermitcraft too. I just, uh, I just have a, a soft spot for people that grind for it is all. <laughs> Understood. Very cool. What am I missing here? I'm sure. I'm sure I haven't if, seen everything. If you come up, there's a second level. Of oh, course. Cool. Of course. Well, hang on. Okay, so. They, did they go all the way down to like, yeah, okay, yeah. I see. They started at the very bottom. And this whole, this whole platform's like made out of blast furnaces. <laughs> oh my <Yep>. gosh, <laughs> it's insane. Oh, a lot of people filled every nook and cranny with things like blast furnaces in order for, to get the points. Wow. Yep, they min max this. Got the wool farm. What was this one? Fish farm or something? What we got going on here? Is this uh, aquarium just for looks? Was one of the challenges was to get uh, I think it was two cod, two salmon, two oh. dolphins, and ten tropical fish, and uh, two squid. So a lot of that's you'll see cool. random aquariums on just about every island. Okay, yeah, that's what I. That's the kind of stuff I like. Is is like that is not something you would normally do in Minecraft, but the challenge forced people to do it. And the outcome is actually something really cool. They got this awesome pond now with different fish in it, which served a function. They got their, their points for the challenge, but also aesthetically is really cool. Neat. What is this guy? I believe that, um, wait, where are you? I lost you. Oh, uh, that was their uh, ink farm, I believe. Oh, and okay. It. Okay, okay, they drained it. I was gonna say, uh, how does squid spawn? Um, oh, it yeah, looks like just... water columns. Yeah, you open the trap doors and the water columns would probably flow down. Yep. They decided wither roses were easier than ink. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, let's see. <laughs> Very cool. Cactus farm. Yep. Okay, so this isn't the sky block um, that has hoppers that immediately suck up items or anything. So they had to do kind of the regular vanilla style cactus farm it looks like yeah mm -hmm. hoppers were minus 10 points so a lot of us shied away from them as much as possible yeah that's that's cool to put that rule on yeah i remember on those on those public servers that i played on they on, they had like a limit of hoppers so you still had to be kind of smart about how you used them 
Yeah, we, we had a limit too, um, but a lot of people, we had to raise the limit because a lot of people weren't necessarily interested in the competition. They just liked the Skyblock challenge mm. and they still wanted to be able to use hoppers and do their sorting system. So they were going crazy with hoppers and then you had to put a limit on them. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we actually raised the limit. Originally, the limit was uh, like 10. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And, um, yeah, that'd be rough. We, yeah. So we raised it to 100, and then I think we ended up having to raise it again because some people just didn't, they just weren't interested in the competition aspect and just wanted to build. Yeah. Well, I mean, if the server's handling it, then I guess that's good. Okay, why is there so many bells in here? Were they worth points? <laughs> they were worth, I believe, 100 points. Yes. Okay, okay. So blast furnaces, were, uh, blast furnaces, emeralds, uh, and gold blocks were worth 150 and bells were worth 100 diamonds were worth 300 and it was actually the bells that started causing some server issues <laughs> really yes for bells. some reason the villagers trying to reach the bells in addition to uh... looking for a redstone signal and being transparent all of that added up to lag <laughs> okay i will i will tell mumbo so he can figure out how to lag the season 8 server <laughs> <laughs> Eclipsa says it was, it was her fault <laughs> with the bells. Oh man, <laughs> super cool. Yep. I'm going to do a uh, deafen just for a second to catch up on stuff, so you guys don't have to hear that. Um, and then, is there is there more here on Ken's Island? I did see there was a portal. Do we need to go through that and see anything in the Nether as well? There, there was another island for everyone. Um, oh, okay. A lot of some people went crazy. Some people kept it simple. Okay. All right. Well, give me just a minute. And when we get back, we'll go see what they did in the nether. How's that sound? Sounds good. All Sounds right. Good. Be right back. All right. Yeah. I just wanted to take a, a break from the tour because there's so many people that have done amazing things as I was showing Ken's Island off. Ken and crew. I shouldn't just give Ken credit. It was, it was more than Ken. It was Ken. It was Ashley and, and the doctor working together. So, um, you know, I guess he was just the, the head honcho, the person that created the island and invited the others. I'm assuming this is how it works. So uh, anyway, really cool stuff here. The Viking Dane, thank you for the five months. Pyros, thanks for subbing. Amy Elizabeth, thanks for seven months. Butter Burtle? Bert, Bert, Bert G. I, we'll just call you Butter. Uh, thank you so much. Five gifted subs. Appreciate the gift sub bomb. It's snowing here now, somehow. It started snowing. Uh, <laughs> Data Maximus, 19 months. Thanks for all the entertainment, sir. Looking forward to Hermitcraft Season 8 and Third Life Season 2. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, you won't have to wait long for Hermitcraft Season 8. It did get announced um, that tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific, my video will, will be out for all to see. And I'm sure every other hermit that joined in on Season 8 will probably be re releasing within the next couple days. So it's going to be a flood of fun videos for sure to watch. Dual Game, thank you so much for the 14 months. Ashley Cloud. Um, we're just talking about you. <laughs> Very nice island. Ashley, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Sarah the P, thanks for the tier one sub. Colin David Design, thanks for the tier one sub. Evan and Caitlin in the house. How you guys doing? You guys settled in after your move? I don't stalk you on Twitter. Stop. Don't, don't make those kind of accusations. <laughs> I hope your move went well. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. Evan and Caitlin in the house, 13 months. We all need a time turner. Yeah, for sure. A7, thanks for the 22 months straight. Appreciate that. EIS, 13 months. Lou with the four months. Firewolf, 400 bits. TX Rider, 500 bits. Excalibur, 100 bits. Oz, 100 bits. LSBM, thanks for the 100 bits. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. There's a new thing in chat now. Do you guys see this too? First time chat from viewer. That's pretty cool. Connex 3 thank, thanks for the uh, the message. Thanks for popping in first time. First timer. Saw my uh, replay on the second channel about going full time. Feel like I owe my company. I, I do feel like I owe my company. Uh, advice that was given to me many years ago, no matter how good a job treats you, don't delay your life for them. They, you, you don't owe them anything because if they, for whatever reason, felt you weren't doing what they needed, they'd let you go in an instant. Yeah, you do. You do you, Impulse, whatever's best for you and your family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been weighing on me heavily. You, you heard my stream yesterday. Um, 
I'm going to have a good talk with my boss soon. <laughs> we'll see what, what, what transpires. I'll let you guys know. You guys know I'm fairly transparent with, with that kind of stuff. So uh, maybe stream next week. Hopefully we'll have some update on where that went. We'll see. <laughs> Chat really wants skiz on HT. Chat's not the HT. Chat's not the only one. Chat's not the only one. You know I'd love to play with my buddy. Hummel, thank you so much for the three months. I should just join a server called Hermitcraft and then I'd be set, right? <laughs> oh. Are you a PM? Um, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I've been a project manager. I'm assuming that's that's the PM you meant. Okay, I'm going to get back to the tour. I'm going to get back to the tour. Thank you guys so much for being amazing. Adam, thank you for the seven months. Adam95, appreciate you. All right, let's get back to the mods so they can uh, lead me to the nether here. Okay, okay, I'm back. People are amazing, you know that? For sure. I have to get through the portal, which means I'm going to go through... Uh, I got to get back in... Oh, not survival. No, no, no. That's scary. <laughs> I'm hitting all the buttons, by the way. Why yeah, isn't... Fall oh. Falling off is a, is a real fear. <laughs> <laughs> not that I have anything to lose, at least. I just took about eight screenshots on accident. I was hitting the wrong button. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Whoa! loudness oh wait what how did they get a wither spawner each island uh in the nether comes with a wither spawner and a blaze spawner and a magma cube oh ah, okay okay oh yeah because you don't want to have to like give everybody a fortress to deal with okay that's smart and it looks like the wither spawner didn't really care about light this one's no, boxed in. I don't know if it was... Oh, they... What were they doing here with the magma cubes? Using wither roses to kill them? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. We actually, um, we found out, not not until after Ken and Ashley and, and the doc had done all of this work, we found out mm. that the points in the nether didn't count towards your island score. Oh. Um, which also meant hoppers didn't count against it, which was which was a bonus. But um, <laughs> after we found that out, a lot of people didn't do much in the Nether. Um, they they made it um, useful and not aesthetically pleasing after after we found that out. Right. So. Oh, there's a ginormous minecart elevator, which means there's going to be something down here. <laughs> Let's go Everybody's see what it is. Got a gold farm. Ah, okay. <laughs> got to get those gold points, huh? Now let's see. How did they end up doing theirs? Just the donut system. But you can do it down low because it's skyblock. You don't have to worry about them spawning anywhere else. Very cool. Oh, I left his island. Yeah, they have blast furnaces here. So they got no points for this blast furnace ladder. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, AVK has uh has angered the piglin. <laughs> yeah, this was this was the gold farm design that we actually used on the vanilla server as well. Um it has the option to do it has the built-in bartering system. So mm. if you Underneath, you see that there's the the piglin, and any ingots that get dropped, he automatically barters with, and uh, then you get the nuggets, and you can craft them and barter with the other two. Oh yeah, see, I'm very smart. <laughs> cool setup. Yeah, there's some hoppers. <laughs> there's a few hoppers here. Gonna need them in a farm like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough in the nether to not have hoppers, that's for sure. ABK was getting his 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 workout running from the piglin piglins. Oh. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I'm going to head back up top. Not sure so there's much else they got in the nether. Yeah, no. There's that's about it for for okay. Ken's island. Wait, how come there's an end portal? Could they also go to the end? Yes. Oh, okay. And then was that shared or was it also unique, like it, island? It, it was a single island for 
for the end and it was it was tea tiny and i i don't really think i heard anybody say anything about doing nobody anything did anything spectacular. yeah it was uh, i i personally just used mine to get uh enderman and ender pearls that was it i see i lost the portal <laughs> where was the portal <laughs> Uh, I think they took it down because you can always just uh, use the warp system to get out. Oh, okay, okay. I shall do that then. Where should we go? Uh, the next one on the list is going to be Eclipsa, who is in second place. Alrighty. I have made it. And we will actually pull her Ooh. into voice chat with us so that she can have a chat with you. Alright, sounds good. We'll have to make sure we get Eclipse's volume settled, too. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. See? You're low. I'm going to turn you up. I'm kind of low. And you should be good. Or better, at least. How you doing, Eclipse? I'm good. I just have to turn you down. Oh, you got to turn me down. I'm loud. <laughs> the stream. <laughs> you got you got impulseception going on listening to the stream and being in discord with me <laughs> yeah chat's going um, crazy to hear your voice eclipse uh <laughs> well they could hear it all the time if they just come and visit <laughs> come hang out with you in a discord call <laughs> i'm admiring this uh this cube right here yeah, um, that is a combination of my idea and Borgo. Um, he he was so proud of it because we actually have that as our store on the ISP server uh -huh. for bulk items. So we did, he wanted to cover up the the farm that's right there, so it, you know, so they don't always see all the the farms and stuff. So that was something that he did. Oh this yeah, is this is just going to be an ugly uh, stone generator farm anyway, right? So now you got a nice shell around it. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, you probably yeah, can't see I... me. I'm in spectator. I'm I'm right be right behind you. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that, of course, um, Jaconis built. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of help there. You, you got yeah. your you got your team. You got you made sure you had a technical technical minecrafter in here <laughs> well i seen i seen yeah he wants to make sure i and i do say stone and basalt generator so it's a stone and basalt ah. but when i seen it come up hey we're gonna have uh we're gonna turn the spare into a sky block i was all on it because that's what started me playing um my minecraft and i was like and this is a perfect time for me and Jaconis to finally play together. And so I grabbed him in, and then of course Borgo's like, I want to play, so I grabbed him in too. And this is this is what came of of it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I'll let you lead the way. Show me show me the points of interest here on the island. Okay. Um, well, my point of interest is because this is what I did on the server. Um, I ended up having to deal with all the villagers because the, yeah. <laughs> so I was the fun one to get to. You were busy. Oh, this one, this one, this one's no good. I don't want it. Kill it and get me another one. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I know the grind well. And uh, you got it kind of like centered around, looks like maybe a uh, iron farm or something. What is this? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. This is our iron farm that Draconis put in because it he uses, he, this was kind of something that he had on his skyblock evolution. So I was like, please put that here because it is very good. And yeah, we we pretty much kept that thing going 24 seven. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of the one Skiz and I did too. We did a iron farm and then had our villager trading right underneath it. Yeah, I think that seems to be a, what seems to happen with a lot of people <laughs> is that they put the iron farm above it. So. Yeah, smart. But he redid it for Skyblock because um, it wasn't really working the way he had intended it to get work. Ah, needed some tweakage. Uh, 
seen this design before for sure. Uh, Gollum so he says Gollum detection for villagers is 19 blocks. Did I lose Eclipse on voice? Oh, no, I'm just so used to not push to talk, my bad. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you got you got awfully quiet there. I was like... <laughs> no, no, he put the he put the sensor, daylight sensor on here so that we can utilize both the night and the and the day for Gollum spawning. Spawn, uh, you know, spawning. Ah, okay. So when the night comes, it flips up so you can still see them. And it, it works very well. Ah. Yeah, a lot. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Got a carrot and potato farm, looks like. Oh, gee, I wonder who's uh, from Zizar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, recognize this. Does this thing still work? I have to check into that. <laughs> See if this it thing does. still works in 117. It, it, well, it still does. It still works. Um, still does yeah, here. We, yeah. Excellent. There's a little bit, a couple of things that I, um, I got from a couple other streamers to put in. I put the, this is how I found the bells. <laughs> Yes, it works very well. I had to start using it to make um, bone meal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the bells dragged the, the farmer over to to the um, the guy, and he starts to throw them in there. But the there's the mine carts there, so he doesn't ever get the get it. Mm -hmm. So it all goes straight down into the, the box. So yeah, they had. I was like, they're like, turn it off. We can't keep up with it. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Um, where to next? The thing, okay. The other thing is our central area, which is where our storage is, but we try to utilize everything. So we don't have that much storage. Whatever we use is ended up on the island. So I see. We try not to, we didn't, so that, but this is my flex with the diamonds on the top here. The wannabe <laughs> green chandelier. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> Complete diamond ceiling, of course. Blast furnaces. Yep. Yeah. Everybody yeah, figured yeah. it out. <laughs> oh. And then we took um, over here. We took the kelp farm. This is a kelp farm, and then up above it is where we had all twenty thousand plus bells. Up above it. <laughs> okay, you weren't, our... you weren't kidding. You weren't kidding. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Jacornis is like, why do we want bells? And I'm like, they're 100 points each. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have layers upon layers of gold floors and blast furnaces. And oh my goodness. Yeah, Borgo says 24,625. That's crazy. Bells. But they wanted Jacornis later's like, oh, I wanted to keep the bells to flex. And I'm like, you can put it in creative if you want to. But to save lag purposes, I just told him to take, just delete them. <laughs> that must have been a chore just to do that. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you what. Um, I was always AFK at the gold farm. Draconis and Borgo and I was always trading with the traders to get the bells. Um, these we had 10 blocks, 10 chakra boxes started. And then once Kim decided, nope, I want to be number one then that's when it came, became extremely competitive. <laughs> Flame Ken. We, yeah, yeah, it's Ken's fault. Because at the point, we were we were kept going in between fifth and fourth place because everybody was, you know, doing their things, building and stuff. And we didn't do a lot of building. We just we did a lot of farms. Mm -hmm. And so then we saved up all the bells and we put the bells in and we went right up to first place and we were a good 20,000 points away from from second place. So wow. Ken did one heck of a rally to get to the first place. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Borgo says his computer was on 24-7. <laughs> yeah, so so mine. Now this over here, um, next to the cactus farm, is the super, oh my god, I love this um, stone and ice generator that Draconis did. And I mean, it is a fast. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm watching it go. Holy cow. Yes. Well, we didn't have any problem with having enough stone or cobble. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's very fast. <laughs> yeah, I love this thing. I will. This will always be something that I probably will make. Is this a, is this a Draconis special? 
Yes, this is a Draconis special. This is... Right. I, he, I think he made it a couple of times before coming coming up to this particular design. Mm -hmm. And um, it is awesome. I I was spent a lot of my time over here. Because when, it, when it's in ice... Look how get, fast it goes. Yeah. Jeez. The ice goes a lot slower, though. But when this is full room of ice... And I, for the challenges, we would get 26 diamonds. So that's three blocks of diamonds each time I um, harvest it. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> that's cool. All right, Jaconis, I might need to, might need to talk to you about this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is an awesome. Put this one in my back cool. pocket for next Skyblock Evolution, maybe. <laughs> Very cool. And he designed because he's never had a reason for a creeper farm per se to make um music discs so he designed a creeper farm which is right next to it um so that okay i found it i found it yep hold on i gotta just show you i gotta get out of spectator form right there So basically what you do is you come up here mm -hmm. and it opens it up and you put that and he can he can see you but he can't shoot uh, you. Oh yeah, okay. So when the creepers come down, he shoots the creepers and then we get all the music discs. <laughs> yeah, he calls it Wait, the music what, store. What is he standing on? Oh, this is nothing nothing special. He's just on a regular block with a half slab in front of him. Huh. Yeah. I figured it'd be like so you'd be on some sort of like chest or snow layers or something. No, it's just a flat block with a one half slab. <laughs> you know how Easy to go says he wants to keep everything as simple as possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it turns off as soon as you walk off and close the block right in front of it. And Very nice. Ten minutes he said it took him to die. Humble brag. <laughs> yeah, and of course, there's the bamboo farm. You should know that yeah. one. No. Oh. This was my contribution. Is the I can't I think I can't remember who whose this was, but this is our oak farm because we need, used a lot of wood. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you just grab the saplings. And you stand on here and plant it, and then it just goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> it's supposed to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, tree, grow already. <laughs> grow. Yeah. There, there it goes. goes. There it goes. <laughs> so then it kills all the leaves, and then it pushes it, and then of course it goes to the limit that the yeah. piston goes, and then end up building a wall of wood. Yeah. A block of wood. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Um, okay, and then... Is this... Oh, okay. I know exactly what this is, because I can tell just by the shape of it. This is just a, oh, yeah, a regular that's... hostile mob farm, right? Yep. Yeah, this is... Uh, See, the Dracona special. We, we built this one on Skyblock Evolution. Not out of blast furnaces, but... <laughs> well, we, we built it out of stone first, mm -hmm. but then we went back and we, he replaced it. We built... He tore it down and then we built it with the... Mm. Furnaces. So he actually built it twice, which I think was crazy, but he did. Ours was built out of ancient debris, so you know. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. You're a little bit more flex. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. What's this guy underneath the the beacon pyramids? The beacon. Pyramids. Oh, okay. No sugar, sugarcane, sugarcane farm. Oh yeah, this Looks is like... the sugar cane farm was my mm -hmm. contribution. Yeah, what I ended up doing. Cool. Because we at one point really just needed a lot of uh, paper to help trade for emeralds and stuff like that. So. Gotcha. It was one stack high, but then I changed the changed it to this, so it could, we needed more than just what I just had before. So I ended up rebuilding that. Little expansion to get some more. Yeah. This is a pretty like, cool structure here behind you. What do we got going on here? Oh, it's I mean, like it's like a portal deck. Is this just decoration for the portal? Yes, yeah, so this is Borgo's here? idea that yeah. um, he was going to build this huge thing, but then we ended up building farms around it and it took his space that he was going to build. Oh. But yeah. But <laughs> no, like, it turned out pretty good anyway. I like it. Yeah, it's a good thing for the port. We, 
See, Borgo and I are kind of like, we dab in the redstone, but we like to build. Mm -hmm. so, but we, we pretty much forgot building this <laughs> we really got into the, the competitive stuff. nature kicked in because you wanted them points. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this this nice. goes to our um to our, our nether. Should we go in the nether? Is we got stuff to go see in the nether? Oh yeah, we got you know yeah. cornices stuff to go see in the nether. Let's let's go. I'm in. Now I see why Draconis has been so silent on Discord lately. He's been busy doing this. Yes, so um, up here I think is our wither farm. That looks like... How did this one work? This one here that Jakarus is at is the brain part. <laughs> oh, okay, they're attracted to the solid blocks. Yep, okay. Yeah, the, it's the blaze yep. farm. <laughs> yep, exactly. Okay, then, very nice. Is yeah, it, the other one we had it worked well too, but Jaconis was more wants more efficiency. So <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like no, Jaconis at all. No, I want more output. <laughs> and then above it is our slime farm. So Whoa! Sit, sit, get up to there, and then they're if they they won't see the big ones won't see you, so they're attracted to the golem that's above us, and then you just. Take your sword and kill him. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Draconis says go back down. I'm going up to the roof going, what is this up here? Dude, I don't even know where you're. I'm not watching I went up stream. to, I was following the ladder above the Wither Skelly farm. <laughs> That's nothing up there. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Magma, I'm at the Magmas now. I'm with you. Yeah. So we just stood here and with the sword. Let him come to you. Punch away. Yeah. Easy mode. And then, yeah, and then... Honey the blocks are smart, are... for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep them from bouncing too high. Mm-hmm. And we had the lava to push them a little bit. Ah, uh, okay. Here's the blaze farm. Now, the blaze farm doing the same thing where they attracted the blocks or something? How'd that one work? Yeah. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see. There it is. And they wander over yeah, same the, way. Yep. The spawn areas of the um, spawners not very favorable to us. <laughs> <laughs> so this area has been under construction a lot. Um, but I feel we finally got the big Draconis finally got it under control where we can have all the farms that we need. Oh, I see. Eight block detection radius for players instead of 16. Yeah, that would make it tough. Oh, Draconis good. figured it out, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, um, yeah. Learned a couple of new words, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, very cool. Very cool. Is there anything else you want to show me? Yeah, then we have the very downstairs area. Oh, okay. I just noticed there's a ladder going all the way down. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got to have your gold farm, right? Yeah. We, we didn't see a gold farm yet. Well, we had... Draconis built his OP Skyblock gold farm, but for whatever reason, again, the detection rate. Mm. So, um, uh, low, uh, low fat, uh, granola had created the donut farm and it works great so Draconis did his version of it and then yeah and it produces a lot <laughs> <laughs> very nice and then underneath it of course is our little water area and he create I told um he created it so that you can do two uh pigments at a time oh nice which is really cool Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropper spits it out right in between them, and they both have a chance to grab it. Very nice. Yeah, and it's got a two second, so then it spits out another one, so both of them Perfect have, timing. <laughs> yeah, so both of them have iron to look at. <laughs> of course, Draconis is going to perfectly time it. <laughs> Can't have it at one tick too long. That's a loss of efficiency. <laughs> well, well, you obviously spend a lot of time talking here. <laughs> yeah. 
this was the first time that I got to collaborate with Jaconis and and uh, I, I had so much fun, Jaconis and Borgo. Um, I can't, I would love to do it again. I, it was so much fun. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on second place. You guys were close. It was definitely a close race. Yeah, well, <laughs> Ken had a rally because he's very competitive. Yeah, again. And like, like they said, it wasn't even, it wasn't even a contest. But mm -hmm. I used to do Skyblock, you know, because I you, yeah. you guys had done the Skyblock before, and I followed you to the Skyblock. Yeah. And, and that's so I was used to the points and the, and everything. And they're like, mm -hmm. why do we need to put these blocks down? Because it increases our point value. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so it's... I think it was probably my fault that it turned into. <laughs> yeah. It's so, yeah. so like, wait, wait, why is Eclipse's iron at this level? How are they number one? <laughs> Yeah, Draconis was used to vanilla skyblock, and you were used to the the economy public service skyblocks. Totally different things, but somehow this kind of like mixes both worlds in a in a way. It's pretty cool. Yes, it did. Uh, we both. I learned more redstone, so I'm a little bit more dangerous now with redstone. <laughs> and he learned he doesn't want to play this no more. <laughs> oh, okay. He's done. He's done. He wants to go back to skyblock evolution, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. You know, I don't blame him because that's his baby, you know. Yep. Yep. But sure uh, is. it was definitely, definitely fun. And I, I'm so grateful that you have the community to be able to have these things for us. So thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And I, I can't take all the credit there. My moderators are the ones that had the idea to set this up for you guys. Um, so, you know, all credit should go to the moderators. They are amazing moderator team here on the patron server. So thank yes, you mods yes, for, for giving our community a chance to do something unique like this. This is awesome. Thank you, Eclipsa, for the tour. Draconis, great work, my friend. And Borgo, don't forget. And Borgo. Borgo. And Borgo. I, I'm not staring at Borgo, that's why I didn't I didn't say his name. Yeah, Borgo as well. Thank you so much for giving me the tour. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Where are we going next? Next would be um the island that I shared with Ruby and Drowsy and ABK. All and we right. are going to pull Ruby in here to talk about the island. She was, I believe, the main builder. It is it, is, is um, it yours, Cal? Yes, it's mine. Okay. I'm here. Hey, I'll go into creative so you can see me. Make it easier. That's hey, I'll probably expect soon. Hey, Ruby. Hello, Ruby. How you doing? Boss and other bosses. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I need to say uh, to fix your volume here. Am I loud? I'm sorry. Go. No, you're good. You're good. I got you. Right. So my Discord's a little borked, so I can't move and push to talk. Um, so uh, I'll show you around. Okay. But... No problem. Um, so yeah, this is Cal's Island, and then um, I decided to get really competitive once I saw that Rill and Oz <laughs> were participating, uh -huh. <laughs> and I wanted it to be like a stewards versus moderators, even though Cal's a moderator. Yeah. She's a sympathetic steward. Um, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so yeah, uh, that was kind of the goal, but uh, basically um, top to down is like a light to dark theme so the farther down the island you move the darker it gets oh. uh, and there is lore i didn't get to finish building all the things i wanted to but just kind of this fantastical island um it's really pretty on top and then the deeper down you go where you get to the redstone bits the stuff that makes the whole island work right mm -hmm. um is kind of the factory style um, area uh, and it's very dark because they don't have access to the sky <laughs> and so that was kind of the motivation for the build palettes and, uh, and everything as well okay yeah so the, the, the very top uh, little kind of section there the designs are absolutely incredible by the way oh, just had to say that thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thank down you. by the um, I'm down by the the kind of the buildings right on the kind of middle layer and yeah. Just to kind of let you know where I am. It looks like uh, 
Was this like an elevator or something that you guys yeah, used yes. to so go up there? The left, ah. the left goes up and the right goes down, and there's a safety zone in the middle for those of us that are bad at water elevators. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. AKA me and Cal. <laughs> I'm uh, awful at them. I miss my cool. top every time. Um, <laughs> yeah, down here uh, where we're at, this was, um, I told Ruby that I kind of had this vision for like the old world European streets where the houses were really close together. Mm -hmm. And um, we we ran out of time because, you know, 117 crept up on us faster than we thought it would. Yeah. Um, and we needed the server. So we didn't get to finish a lot of this level. But uh, this is where all of our non- uh, mob related farms pretty much lived we have the ice and then we have pumpkin and melon and then this depending on what we needed i switched between bamboo and sugar cane so um, gotcha. and everything you'll see it when we go down to the next level but everything fed into water streams to go to storage yeah i can't have those hoppers to take points away right <laughs> can't have them. Uh, Looks... i did really well on managing hoppers on the main island so yeah, this this level really, um, I was really really proud of uh, of the build palette. Uh, Ruby and I switched off trading, uh, villager trading for for all of the the kata and uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm good if I never see another villager again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel you. I feel you after doing the. Uh third life villager trading i needed a break like season eight come along and i'm like look over i see a village and i'm just like stay away stay away <laughs> yeah every, everybody on the server kind of knows that i i'm a big advocate of villagers i've never really had a problem with them i've, I've that everybody else seems to have all these problems and i've just always i've always enjoyed it Mm -hmm. uh not so much after after, <laughs> after this one I'm, I'm good for a while <laughs> it looks like you've tucked in almost every type of farm like every building's got some n different little farm in it so <laughs> mm -hmm. every yeah, we... if you had a list of every farm in minecraft i feel like you guys checked off at least 90 yeah, percent we, we tried to hide our farms and make it make it fit uh with the the build style and palette that we were going for mm-hmm the dirt and grass was a chore to get you you had to do all of the all of the coarse dirt and convert it and it, <laughs> it was yeah you could only get it through challenges so it was yeah. it was difficult that's um, grind for sure mm -hmm. pretty cool pretty cool okay i'm excited to see the dark the darker yeah. is so, oh wow ruby did the floor for this and uh, uh this actually aside from the floor this this was kind of my baby um i this is where we started obviously because you know you always go straight to the bottom yeah but um i'd got the villager trading hall set up um and you, know, you, you can still see my my uh minecart system for getting them down from the breeder but that's okay <laughs> Um, I, I like the uh, I like the stairs here. The pattern of blocks you use, it's really cool. Yeah, it was it was challenging to keep it dark and still not bland, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Um, but we we had fun with it. Um, and then the storage, uh, the joke on our island was, I built something and then two days later I moved it. Um, so the, oh, who would do the, something like that? Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is the second home of our storage. Um, uh, of course, everything down here was built with uh, iron blocks because they were plentiful and they were more points than points. a normal building block. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cal. Cal's the the feature of this island. It's her island. She started it, and she did all the redstone. I uh, was not allowed to touch the redstone because I'm notorious for breaking the redstone. That, no, no, I made sure to ruby proof it, so we're good. <laughs> that, Is that, that similar that to scar? Proof. That's similar to scar proofing. Then it sounds like that. Oh, it's oh. so bad. It's so bad. There's a reason I'm not allowed to touch redstone, but I just got to make things pretty, so I was okay. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah, the floor looks amazing. I, I love the design. Thanks. Yeah, um, 
of course the the mob farm originally started over here with where the cactus farm is now um but we quickly had an abundance of everything and i was being a moderator i was terrified of causing lag so yeah, yeah. We, we we took it down and um ended up with a just a creeper and spider farm um and then this was our wither killing our wither farm for wither roses um we we got rid of him um uh, but it's in a slime chunk so he it was a constant supply of slime balls and yeah roses. sounds like Sounds like the islands were sharing the knowledge of, of that little trick with the withered and slime chunk, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. um, and these these pillars that you, you see in the opposing corners, they're actually uh, stuffed with iron, um, gold, emeralds, and blast furnaces. Okay. Like, like the, the outside is the pretty part. The inside is where the points are. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Not that Skiz and I ever had patience to cover up our value blocks when we did it, but <laughs> that's smart. Well, I have I have Ruby to thank for that. She uh, she's definitely the one that likes to make everything pretty, and I'm just like, how useful is it? Because that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got we got the the function over form and the form over function team. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> story behind this this layer is i was i kind of wanted like these uh mushrooms back here mm -hmm. to be all over the place and i didn't like i said we didn't have time so this was kind of our our mushroom farm uh this there was lore behind it like they grew the mushrooms here and transplanted them and mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we have a big building dedicated to like three mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> But this was my this was my spider and creeper farm. Uh, it was incredibly efficient. I will be using this design again. So yeah, uh, yeah I had to turn mob spawns off on the island because we just had too many. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing with Skyblock is there's not like caves everywhere for mobs to spawn in, so they end up spawning pretty much where you want them to. <laughs> yeah, it was it was crazy. Uh, the only pretty thing that I contributed to on the island was the nether portal. Um, it started off as a little miniature version of this, and I was just like, I really like this. So mm -hmm. I just made it bigger. Yeah. And I really, I really liked how that came out. It's like the portal is on its own throne. <laughs> In a way, it yeah, almost looks like it's pretty cool. Yeah. I was going for a little miniature biome, is, yeah. is what it was. Um, and then behind it, you'll see those are my kelp farms. Mm -hmm. um, I I love this design. I, th I think I used a similar design on the vanilla server. So it's it. This one is manual. The one on the vanilla server has flying machines, but I I didn't want to mess with <laughs> breaking flying machines all the yep. time. Yeah, they're always a pain for sure. Yep. <laughs> so this is I mean this is pretty much it. You've got the iron farm back here in our little workstation section with the composters and. Uh, and chicken farm but that's it it's not we didn't fit a lot in we focused more on the on the points and uh, i mean coming in third obviously we should have focused more on the points <laughs> the one thing i will say mad props to abk and ruby if you look up the entire ceiling is plastered with blast furnaces oh my gosh and they did that after the level was already built so there were uh slime oh yeah and drowsy too there were slime, yeah. slime, uh, slime block paths all over the place, so that we could uh, we could get that done. <sighs> Drowsy was amazing. Uh, she's been working a lot, but she she absolutely would AFK wherever we needed her. Um, and she started on the terrain around the base of those those giant mushrooms. So like she she was she was great. I, I enjoyed having her on this on the on, on the island. She helped a lot. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Tilt, Cal, and Drowsy did all the grindy work, and I was just like, "Okay, more blocks, please." <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Bring me all the blocks. We yeah. were block <laughs> vending machines for Ruby, and that's yeah, that's fine. I felt so bad. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, because look at how amazing it turned out. <laughs> Sounds like you guys had a good team. Congratulations on third place. Oh, do I? I should go in the Nether, yeah? Almost forgot. Uh, no, there's really nothing to see there. Okay, okay. <laughs> our, no, you don't want to go there. <laughs> our nether was not pretty. There right. was, I yeah, it was very. What can it do? Points don't count. 
I didn't care what it looked like. <laughs> okay, we'll leave on a high note because uh, this is, I, I really like that you guys were able to pull off the dark theme the way you did because that's always an issue on Skyblock when you have like that shadow casted from the the top ceiling thing, you know, and this, you guys made it work. I love it. Thank you. Very cool. Yeah, congrats on third place. Thanks. I had really good team. Yep. All right, where to next? Who else got in on it? Real got in on the on the mix too. Real has an island. I do. Uh -oh. What I'm gonna do is warp real Soji. Okay. Can do that. I am here. Hello. Hello. Your wither's still alive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Every, anytime I see that wither bar, I get terrified. Oh, actually, before we get started, um, I do want to say some thanks to you. Thank yous real quick, because I've been waiting for a while. So give me like two minutes and we'll get going, okay? No problem. Okay, hi. Hi, chat. I know it's always hard for, you know, when we're on these tours and stuff, right? I got to, we're obviously, uh, we're showing off their builds and stuff. So my concentration's pretty much 100% on the uh, the building teams, the moderators, this, this kind of lead me around, things like that. So I don't get a chance to see a lot of what you guys are saying in chat. I apologize for that. Um, we did have the last couple days of uh, just chatting streams, though. And if you missed those, we're going to be doing more of those because I had a lot of a lot of fun with those. So we'll get our chances to, to have some more uh, kind of, I was going to say one-on-one -on -one time, but it's more like a, a one-on almost a thousand time. <laughs> so thanks for being patient through the tour, guys. And uh, yeah, amazing, amazing uh, building that's happening here. Amazing farms. Uh, it's a cool mix. I, I, I kind of like the Skyblock stuff because you you get that mix of the farming and the aesthetics put together in one. And that's where like people really need to push themselves to go into different areas of Minecraft that they may not usually go into. Um, so just a fun experience, in my opinion. Dark Helm, thanks for the 14 months. R3B Rook, thanks for the three months. Coercy Sir Seer Reach. Seer Each. Nailed it. Two months, thank you. <laughs> so glad to be part of the Impulse Minecraft experience. Thank you for all you've done and continue to do. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate the message. Lynn Strawberry, thanks for the uh, Prime sub. And Malcap, I'm sorry, I did see it come in 15 minutes ago, but thank you so much for the amazing gift sub bomb. Again, if you got gifted a sub anytime, uh, during this stream or any other stream, make sure you say thank you to those who gifted, because that's an amazing thing to do. Uh, Hilda, Hilda Lissett, tier one sub. Welcome to Sub Club. Enjoy your channel, bad internet emotes. Starry098, thank you so much for the four months. I have seen a lot of people asking whether or not there's going to be an Among Us session tonight, and the answer is yes. Um, I'm doing two streams today. And we have the server tour, obviously, that we're on right now. And um, it's probably going to go for like another, I don't know. I don't know. We got, we got a few more things to see. I think the island visits are going a little bit longer than they anticipated. Uh, that's typically the way it goes. Uh, but uh, after this, we have some stuff to see on the vanilla server as well. So we may have to kind of speed things up a little bit if we're going to get through them. Um, but yeah, we are doing Among Us in, what did I say? Five hours from now? Under five hours from now. It's like four hours and 42 minutes to be exact. Although we'll probably be late because we always are. <laughs> but yeah, Among Us tonight for sure. And and then I'm going to sleep and wake up and see how you guys like Hermitcraft Season 8 Episode 1 at 7 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. All right, let's get back. Thank you so much, Hermes Shadow, for the 20 months. Appreciate it, everybody. You guys have been amazing this entire week. I was on vacation and I missed you so much. And when I came back and you guys just have been here supporting me like crazy just hanging out it's been awesome so thank you guys so much appreciate it all right i am uh i'm back and ready to see what you got all righty uh first of all it's it's not done i have two more days <laughs> you do have two more days right yes <laughs> but, wait wait uh, but the contest is over right the like the first second yes. third place they're no longer competing for points it's just if you have final touches you want to do to your island for, you know, completionists like yourself, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> then we have the time. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so this was our main storage room. Um, and uh, the, the main feature of it is actually up. You can see it better from the side. Uh, okay. okay. 
Oh, that's cool. Hang on, I gotta get rid of my my hot bar. Well, that is I neat. Just want, I just wanted to do something kind of cool. Um, yeah, that is cool and interesting, and something that used blocks that were not just one point. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. No, it's cool design. I love it. Very nice. Uh, my my theme for this island kind of has a story behind it. I uh, I love Skyblock. I, it was the way that I found out how to play the game better mm -hmm. because it was so limited in resources and everything. But uh, my island partner, Oz, Merida was fine, but Oz, he was like, <laughs> I don't really like Skyblock. I'm like, but I need farms and I don't like redstone. <laughs> uh -huh. So so I told him, you build all the farms, I'll make it look pretty. And so he built all the farms at Y0. And then I spent the entire rest of the time moving his farms to different places. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> so okay, that I could make so, them look pretty. So you would have had to reverse engineer his farms to move them, right? Or ask him to move them. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, so just uh, just by doing that, you you probably would have learned a good deal of redstone, right? Um because that's how I learned, actually, was was just following other people's tutorials. And then eventually I started connecting the dots like, oh, that's why you put it on two tick delay, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I can follow Redstone and I can follow tutorials and stuff. I just I can't come up with things. And Oz, I call him our wizard because I will throw crazy ideas at him and be like, hey, can hey Oz can you, can you do this and he'll be like I don't know let me see if I can <laughs> so he's the wizard of Oz so he's the wizard he's the wizard of Oz so Got, okay. this this is a wizard's <laughs> tower that we, were, that we were building on an uh -huh. island <laughs> so <laughs> the the best view is is in spec outside the okay. border for it all right I'm, I'm I'm gonna follow you most of my time was spent building the island Oh my, oh, okay, okay. Yep, I see why you want to go further out. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get it all in. Oh my goodness. The idea was to have these uh, these magical boxes that I was going to attach to the island with like chains and stuff to mm -hmm. hide the farms. Yeah, that works. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody that was here when we started the stream, you remember when I generated my island? Like that's what pretty much what they started with and look at this yeah i started on <laughs> hardest island <laughs> and you started on the hard one too okay so yeah it was super tiny i love the i love the waterfall into this like bowl pond thing right here this is super cool yeah up in the very very tippy top corner you can see a like ice uh island up there yeah, Eventually, yeah. i was gonna have aqueducts leading that ice down to that waterfall uh okay okay and i was trying to make like a a volcano but ice instead of lava yeah and of course it's fitting because in here it's making ice so mm -hmm. <laughs> oh that's cool turning in ice on your challenges was a way to get diamonds and diamonds were 100 kind, points <laughs> kind of the important thing yeah okay wow what's this uh what's this bit with the glazed terracotta and stuff at the bottom oh it's the wither cage Mm -hmm. This is one of okay. uh, the magic boxes that I was having break open because the wither's in there. <laughs> That's cool design on it. I like it. And you mix in the blast furnaces to get them points as well and still make it look good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. Huge the only portals. Thing I didn't oh. have time to move was was the kelp farm. <laughs> Where's that one at? Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just. Just build another island around it. You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> that's, that's what Oz keeps telling me. It's fine. <laughs> I was just I was yes, looking at these I... portals. I was like, what's going on with the portals? Then I realized, oh, is this? Oh, it's your squid farm. I see. Yeah, squid and fish. Okay. Because you could turn in fish for a uh, prismarine. The portal's nice, nice kind of shell around it, too. Yeah, it uh, it bumped up right against the the island border, so I couldn't build beyond it. So it's a little bit off center, but or a little bit uh, cut off, but mm. it's fine. <laughs> Are these blast furnaces that you faced in different directions to make a pattern? Mm -hmm. That's I'm stealing that technique. 
<laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Feel free. That is a, that's a cool looking floor design. <laughs> oh, oh, I like this. Kind of have like the the opening, the shattered opening of the the side here, and then you can come in and see. Yeah. Okay. So we had our tree farm down here, our original portal that I hadn't knocked down yet. Um, I was collecting yellow blocks to uh, hide the cactus farm with. That was another project I didn't get to, so I was like, Oz, I need a bee farm. <laughs> I need it. I need we, a bee we farm. We have our. <laughs> Our tiny, tiny cobble generator that I totally did not break about 15 minutes ago on accident. Oh, okay. We won't look mm -hmm. at it. Don't tell Oz. Uh-oh. Oz, <laughs> you got to get back in here in two days left. No. <laughs> Oz is like, no. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yep, forgot to turn it off before the server restart. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why everybody's afraid to do flying machines. <laughs> oh no, Oz is in chat. I'm in trouble. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it was you, Oz, and did you Merida. say Merida? Merida? Okay. Mm -hmm. Merida was our our like grinder person. She's she's the one that like would AFK farms and get all the trees and woods and things like that for us. Yeah. You know, I have I had mad I have mad respect for anybody that grinds. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So we just had all these uh, all these different levels that I was filling with blast furnaces, of course, and our <laughs> iron farm and mob farm all together. So you could kind of pick and choose which level you AFK'd at in order to get all of all of the things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you needed for the for the day, huh? Yep. A bit of everything. A lot of work. You can tell a lot of work went into this. Just building this this shell of the island. Oh my gosh, I don't oh. know. If, I don't know if I could do that. Days. <laughs> oh, you got a little space for the horses up here. <laughs> yep, I had high hopes for the tower, but didn't quite get to it. Hopefully, in the next two days, I can finish it before everything closes. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, send me a screenshot when you're done. Will do. <laughs> Very cool. What's going on up here? There's a cat and a cauldron. How come? <laughs> um. <laughs> when I was building the roof, it was above the villagers. The villagers were spawning cats, and the cats were just everywhere. And then he got stuck, so now he's just stuck. <laughs> this is uh, this is his life now. <laughs> yep. I'm actually really proud of the the villager trading hall ceiling. Oh yeah, yeah. So, we didn't we didn't go in here yet. Okay, let me check this out. I, I did discover that that cauldrons uh, are are not blocks it still rains through them and it still lightnings uh. through them so that was uh, <gasps> fun oh <laughs> oh lost a few villagers <laughs> yeah yeah that's right because um they let light through too i believe i used to put mm -hmm. lighting blocks above the cauldrons and use them to kind of hide you know ugly light blocks like glowstone <laughs> Yeah, I was I was frantically putting up blocks uh, above it. You'll notice just above it, these yeah. are all upside down stair blocks, and that's because oh. stairs were worth more than more points than uh, than planks or slabs. <laughs> I have to say though, the design uh, that the of the cauldron have on the bottom it makes makes it almost worth it. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. They add that extra bit of depth. It makes it look way cooler. I like the uh, anvils in the in the chandeliers too. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, I, I had them all at different levels, but then when I started putting the villagers in, I was like, I did not think this through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the villager grind! I will not miss that. Nope. <laughs> uh, it has been hard too. I'll let everybody behind the scenes of Hermitcraft season eight a little bit. It's like you get started on a, on a new world and the first thing you want to do is like the thing you know is like the most efficient way to play Minecraft, which is like, go get your villagers, go get your mending book, go get your, you know, unbreaking threes and all that stuff. And it's like, mm, I'll just enchant like the old days. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with villagers again. <laughs> Enchantment set up, yeah. here I come. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I need a break. I, I like my my central uh, elevator. Oops. 
Creative. <laughs> I have to remind myself of these things. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I like my central elevator design uh, because it, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space and you can do it with any blocks right at the beginning. It's uh, it's one of my favorites. It has one one drop shoot that uh, takes you down to each floor. Okay, I'm going into survival you can just to fall through. Okay, I gotta I gotta see how this thing works. Okay, that's cool. Yep, scoots you over. Oh, I see. So every floor, you mm -hmm. hit, and then and, and then you scoot out, and then if you want to go to down to the next one, you drop in. Ah, okay. Yep, and then yep. so what about the way up then? Okay, so the opening is always on the same side, so I always back into it and then just push forward to go to the next floor. Gotcha. Okay. So if you want to go one floor up, you press forward. But if you want to go a little further, you you probably could. You just don't press forward for a little yep. bit, and then that's I why go I have it marked for different and... block. Ah, uh, so you start to see the the change of color and block, and you know the floor is upcoming. So uh -huh. I saw like the emerald blocks, and that meant villagers were coming. Yep. Smart. I love it. Easy peasy. Except when you when you break the water, <laughs> because you're in creative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made that mistake many. Whose book did I destroy last time I did a server tour? It's like, oh, here's this book of quotes or whatever, and I smash it and destroy it because I was in creative. I was like, oh gosh. I think it was Jade. Uh, she was like, it's fine. <laughs> I know. Meanwhile, she's crying. Sorry, Jade. I still feel bad. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, very nice. Very nice. Good luck in the next two days getting the rest done. Why, thank you. <laughs> I believe uh, Cabell's Island is next. All right, let's go check it out. Is Warp Cabell. Right into villagers? <laughs> Everybody had the villagers, of course. All right, I'll be careful. Had them all protected. They look at that thing. Let the villagers look out. Look at that. Keeps them all. Keeps them all hidden. Peekaboo. <laughs> There's Cabell. All right. Oh, hang on. We got signs to read. Sorry, it's not at the. It's not at its best site. <laughs> Work and stuff kind of took over. Ah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We will. We will reserve judgment, Cabell. Don't worry. I know. I know that's. Life sometimes will hold you back from being able to get as much done as you envision. And sometimes you, you bite off more than you can chew. I've definitely <laughs> experienced that multiple times in my Minecraft worlds. <laughs> oh. Do you want me to, to press this button two times? Yes. Should I? Oh. Getting some boots. Okay. <laughs> I have boots now. Oh, and a carrot. Cavell's gold carrot of love. I didn't even see you give me the carrot. All right. Is there a feather falling on the boots? <laughs> uh, no, it's soul speed because all this is, yeah, oh, it's nice. pretty, pretty speedy. It's on top of the soul sand. Yeah, so this is, uh, I remember Skiz and I, we, we were going to do this on Skyblock Evolution. So, smart way to get around fast when you're in survival. But I can fly, so I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. Cabell's just going to have to keep up with us. <laughs> All right. He had a couple of people on his island as well. Um, but I think that... Um... Even with, you know, real life happens, especially yeah. in the last few months. Um, so I think uh, a lot of the work uh, that you see completed um, was done by Cavell. And uh, Netherite, Netherite was around. Uh, we had, he's a, Netherite Nug is, is his, uh, okay. is his name in game. And he, uh, he helped where he could. It, it's been a, I had to give props to people uh, in the last, you know, year, year and a half. The fact that people have had the energy to deal with with what they've dealt with, and then come in and do amazing stuff like this. You know, it's, yeah. it's, Minecraft has been a, a really good, 
distraction. <laughs> distraction, yeah. Outlet, yeah. escape, yeah. Many different things we could, could say um, for sure. I know, I know. You know, when pandemic hit, that was one of the things I, I mentioned early on was that uh, I wanted to create as much content as I could just knowing that people were stuck at home. And I was already hearing like in the first month of the pandemic, people saying things like I've already watched everything on Netflix, which I know is probably impossible, but anything that they, that they fancied or whatever. So they were already bored. And I was like, if I could create more videos, maybe that would help in some ways. And so I, I remember trying to make as many videos as possible for people to watch just because I, I knew people were so bored. But playing Minecraft obviously is a good way to pass time. I know. Well, I've always been a bit of a IRL hermit. Um, I, I don't, I don't do the, I, d I don't like to socialize. It's not, <laughs> it's not my thing. Uh, so it didn't really hit me very hard until the end of the year, uh, and then I really kind of, kind of invested all my time into the server. Um, yeah. yeah. It. Cavell did. Uh, Cavell and Netherite did quite a bit. They've got their cobblestone generator. Um, and all of their farms um i do i do give mad props to people that that went like the manual route i i can't i can't do it I, the rest <laughs> of me is just like nope nope there's a better way <laughs> uh, but yeah like they have said, a tree farm anybody that can do the grind is uh is impressive to me yeah they have the, they have the trees and uh yeah this is whoo chopping down trees is uh <laughs> Not something that I fancy in Minecraft. I don't know why. I've always had a problem chopping down trees for some reason. And uh, so that's why Skizzle Man always has to do it. Yep. Mm, that's right. right. I always put him <laughs> up to the test. I just oh, I can't be bothered to chop down trees. So I either wait for somebody to make an automated tree farm or I make one myself because I just can't do it. Oh. So Cavell is saying that this was for trees, I, or for bees. I think they were trying to get the ah uh, yeah yeah the flowers. Yep, will yeah. help. Mm -hmm. And then uh, up here was his iron farm. It looks like a lot of us went with this design for the iron farm. Mm -hmm. um, it was just so compact. Um, it's much better than like the the big the big iron farms of of yesteryear. Yeah. I gotta go yeah, to spectator because I don't have the there's the, there's the villager. I see. I was like, there's gotta be a villager and a zombie somewhere in here. Oh, he's got a couple of them. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, that works. Rip the Iron Titan. I know. <laughs> Tango's Tango's legacy was destroyed by the developers. <laughs> oh. And this looks like the Draconis mob farm, just by the shape. Wow, Draconis, you should be proud, my friend. Your mob farm is getting around. <laughs> I think after after y'all built it, uh, the first time y'all built it on your on the Imp and Skiz uh, Skyblock Evolution, everybody found like this one picture that had, uh, I think it was on Imgur where where they had like the the yellow and black blocks to help you count and mm -hmm. i know i personally was just like inches away from my monitor counting trying to figure out how it worked <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um he was saying that uh cabell said that razor joined them mid-season as well so there was three on okay nice nice yeah i mean there's a lot of different things going on for sure again i mean let me step take a step back from the island because you know obviously we came in seeing, you know, we started with with Ken's Island and, and we worked our way down from the top, you know, scoring islands. And so it may not feel as impressive, but again, I get, you got to remind, <laughs> I got to remind everybody, this was a tiny little island. This is a lot of work. I mean, this is, they put in more work right here on this island um, than Skizzleman and I have put on, on the latest season of Skyblock Evolution, which we played on multiple weeks. Right, so uh, this I'm 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 very impressed. I saw someone asking in uh, your chat earlier how how much time we had on all of this. Oh, that's a good question. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact start date. I'm sure I it, do. They, I was gonna say I'm sure oh. one of them probably real remembers, but I want to say we only we only had six to eight weeks. Like I don't yeah. think we had very long. Last day of April, it was opened. 
Oh, I had a question in chat. What did I mean about Tango's, not Tango's reputation, Tango's legacy. Uh, if you don't remember, Tango back in the day had iron farms that produced crazy amount of iron based off of like redstone mechanisms. What's the first one called? Uh, the Titan, right? Was that the first one? And then he had the foundry. I can't even remember the order, but he had like three or four designs as he went along that was just... He's, he was the Iron King of Minecraft, yeah. The Iron Trench, no, okay, so the Titan was not the first. The Trench was, the Iron Trench, then the Foundry, then the Titan. Am I right? Yeah. So he had three, and he had to keep changing them because they would keep messing with the way things worked, and uh, finally they got to the point to where now Iron Farms are just pretty simple, <laughs> to be honest. Like, uh, uh, you don't have to work hard to get a lot of iron anymore. You just villager, zombie, and that's it in a box and flood and kill <laughs> so yeah i remember the first time i built an iron farm it was just like so many doors it, there all was... the doors you're right yeah i remember that <laughs> i annihilated a small forest <laughs> like it was it was bad the first one i did was before tango started doing the crazy s stuff um it was you know jl two five seven nine i can't believe i remember his name uh him, him and doc did the um the cells where they had them spread out by 64 blocks a piece and uh yeah i had i had done those and those those were those were a bit of work you used to have to put a lot of work into uh decent production of iron <laughs> that's how long i've been playing since before the iron trench <laughs> oh well, let's see, before we go, is there anything, Cabal, that you want to specifically show us here? Just in case I, I, I'm going to flown around and kind of looked at, at different things to see what all, all you guys had to do. <laughs> Mobs are in his mob farm, of course. A lot, of, a lot of stuff all over the place, though. I mean, they definitely did, not really, though. They definitely did have a lot going on here. Oh, they must have been working on the mob zoo. They must have been working on the mob zoo because uh, there's like these cells of different mobs over here. Cow, sheep, snowman, golem, mushroom, parrot. Like, got a little bit of everything. Yeah, the the mob zoo uh, seemed to be where everybody hit kind of a wall and slowed down. It was uh, it was challenging. I remember yeah. a lot of frustration uh, for a few islands on getting ghasts into where you needed them. Oh. <laughs> hey, catching gas sounds like fun to me. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I I uh, I panic every time you and Skiz do it. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh this is gonna end poorly. Yeah, it usually does, but that's the fun. That's the fun part of it. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, Cabal, thanks for having us by. I mean, honestly, I I meant it. This is this is a lot of work. Let's not undersell yourself here. This is a lot of work, and I know you probably had your sights set on more, but um, this is well done. Well done, my friend. Is that the last? That's the last island that we were going to do. That is yep. the last island. So if you'd like to switch over to the main server, there are a couple Ooh. things I think we can squeeze in. All right. All right. I mean, this shouldn't be the last time I come by before it ends, right? Right. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know if you remember the last time I was on. Uh, my job was on the floor with this Star Wars map. <laughs> um, more so when I saw how it was created. I mean, looking at it, obviously that's impressive. You know, obviously that's impressive. That's multiple maps. That's a lot of, that's a lot of space, a lot of blocks to fill in to get this kind of detail on a map. But I didn't know enough about map creation at the time to know that you had to do it 3D. Everything I had done was 2D. And so <laughs> to, to fly up above, it like doesn't even, I can't even render this. Look at how they had to make this map. You see how it's in 3D in order to not get like block shadows or something, wasn't it? So when you're above it, you can see, right? You can see what, what's going on. But then come down to this. Look at how they had to do this. Look at that. 
They had to go up at an angle to not get the, the block shadows. Craziness. I was blown away. There's a lot of people here that didn't see that stream, I'm sure. I was blown away at how maps were created. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of mappers on the server. A lot of uh, awesome things to see. Okay. If you want to see kind of an overview of, of all the current existing maps, you can teleport to me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. It's just got like a display case of them, basically. Mm hmm This is how we how we claim areas as well. Oh, smart. Very smart. Yeah, so a lot has been done. So you can see that Star Wars map now, how many blocks it takes off. It was uh, four by three, right? And you can see what you can fit in on, on one space. <laughs> Look at all this. I do like the Cardinals logo. Yeah, in the uh, the Harry Potter one too was a two by two. That's a lot of work. Let's take a look at all of them. Why not? And you know they don't always have to be three D. Some people choose a flat map because you we have a, a website tool that we use that kind of shows us what's going to give you the best color. And sometimes there's not much of a difference, and so it's easiest to do it flat. There's some good looking stuff here. Like we have a the Mona Lisa is a is a flat map as well. <laughs> Somebody did a map of my face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like this guy too. <laughs> Jeez. This is a lot of map art. That's been done. How long has this server been up now? Oh, uh, creeping up on two years. It'll be two years end of July. I don't think we'll quite make it to two years. <laughs> so good. Gosh, look at this one. <laughs> and then I love I love that they use the maps to like make appliances and stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, those are mine. <laughs> it's like the first thing I do because yeah. I need, I need, I need decoration. <laughs> Let me ask you this: so the maps are are they an issue with lag on the server? Because I'm assuming because of all this map art, there's probably a lot of maps around the server. Have you noticed as a moderator uh, that there's any kind of issues because of that? not the uh, the maps itself it's the item frames that usually causes an issue so we mm. do have a limit on the number of entities that you can have at your base um, and that helps a lot so people kind of have to pick and choose if they're going to have a map art gallery or if they're going to have a, a entity cramming chicken farm or whatever right okay item frames I wish they would do something about that because I would love to do a lot more with maps, but uh, you know, even us on the Hermitcraft server, we're always worrying about lagging it out. And um, you know, we found out there, the armor stands, there's like a specific thing you need to do to make armor stands not so laggy. Uh, so we're kind of learning our lessons as we go. Yeah. That's Honestly, cool. though, uh, you know, it hasn't been too bad. That's good. Usually, usually our biggest uh, laggiest thing on the server when we look at all the analytics and everything, it's it's villagers. Villagers <laughs> are so laggy. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah, that's something we're gonna have to keep keep thinking about on the on Armorcraft as well, so everybody doesn't For go sure. off making their own villager farms and stuff. For sure. All right. The map's definitely cool. Where where to? Where what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to teleport you over to a project that's actually, it's been complete for a while, but we've never had the opportunity to show it to you. Oh, all right. This is the rocket factory in the industrial district. Oh, I'm intrigued for my own personal reasons we won't talk about. <laughs> uh -huh. so this, this is Impulsive Industries Rocket Factory. <laughs> We even made a map for it and everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, I'm like, I'm looking at the big building, but there's a lot going on around it. Yeah, so this whole area is the industrial district. We based the theme on the rocket factory. Okay. 
And uh, yes, we have a super secret hidden button that if people press it, it will say something. That is what it happens to say right now in chat. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Some impulse isms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Creeper Farm is working. Mm -hmm. Working just fine, actually. <laughs> yes, it, uh, it produces a lot of gunpowder. And there is also a, a cactus farm, as, or cactus farm, a sugarcane farm. See, now I'm doing what you were doing a few seasons back. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So uh, this was a community project. We dug out the entire basement in order to make room for the farms. Uh, we also discovered a, a double zombie spawner underneath there. So there's another oh, mini farm we squeezed in. <laughs> man. That's a lot of digging. Mm-hmm. We made it fun though. We hid uh, loot boxes. Oh, uh, so okay. Like Tango's dig yeah. my bits. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tango's way of tricking people into doing work for him. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Works pretty well. <laughs> yeah, seems like it did. It's huge space. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the creep farm in here. Okay, so we got. Whoa! Six different towers in here oh my goodness uh -huh. i have to uh, let me do this let me cheat give how do you give impulse how do you give me uh night vision uh effect, effect give oh effect give i always get that backward effect then night night vision nine 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 one true so, so we don't get the oh, levels thanks abk next time i won't <laughs> fumble around with commands <laughs> i just wanted to get a better look at the, the creeper farm here so all right, so that's a lot of cats to get into uh, mine carts. <laughs> yeah, that's everywhere. <laughs> when we were working on it, we started gathering all the cats we would need. And so like outside the rocket factory, there was like just 20, 30 cats all sitting there just meowing constantly. Jeez. Oh, it is funny watching them spawn and then just like run. Like the, seeing a creeper run from something is actually pretty funny because it's the other way around yep. usually. Oh. This was actually my first um, first time leading a community project. It was just before I became a mod uh, on the server. <laughs> so it was, it was a big project. It was also her first mistake as a mod. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> do tell. Do, do you want to, Cal? Well, oh, you have to now. If you, if you come up here, um, I was I was still relatively new on the server, and uh, I really enjoyed building storage systems. And Rill said, "Why don't you do the storage system for the rocket factory?" And I was like, "Sure. How big do you want it?" And she goes, "Give me spot for every item in the game." <laughs> and I was just like, "Are you sure?" And uh, she said, "Yes." And this was the result, and we have had to alter it a few times to make it a little bit more lagless. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not lagless. It, it's bad. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize how many hoppers that would be and how much lag it would. Yeah. Know a lot about redstone or about lag. <laughs> every so this, every item. This yeah. was my design um, and my. You know, then they were like, oh, now we need to decorate it. And I was just like, uh, I didn't know I had to be pretty, too. So uh, <laughs> what I came up with on the fly. Oh, my goodness. All right. Do I dare? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, I do. I do applaud your choice in sorting technology. Uh... <laughs> it's a classic. I mean, you, just, you, go with, you go with the best, right? Like, oh, you flatter me. <laughs> I can't believe that. I did get a comment on my sorting uh, system video, which I still see comments on um, daily, pretty much, that it still works in 117. It has made it through. I can't remember how many updates they said it's made it through, but it's it's lasted for like seven or eight years now. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. That's a, that's a lot. But... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that, there's a lot of hoppers, a lot of chests. There's there's definitely some uh <laughs> server gonna take a bit of a hit right here. <laughs> yep. And if that's not enough, we have a whole bunch of armor stands in the back too. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, so now I see where the impulsive industries map uh was coming in handy. It was all about this building then, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the silhouette of this building. That's cool. Actually, I started with the map and then I built a building around the silhouette. <laughs> we got the uh, delivery trucks. <laughs> We've got a full blown semi trailer. <laughs> I mean, if you're so collecting every item in the game, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, in the semi trailer, it's uh, community shulkers. So if you are new on the server, you need a shulker to help buff around till you find a base, you can borrow a shulker from ah. here. Cool. Wow. Yeah, it's stocked. <laughs> nice. We also give new people a, a naked and scared backpack at the new player hotel, which just has some starter gear and food and things like that in it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that is awesome. So people don't feel I mean, I, I know we mentioned like this this period of this server this season is is kind of winding down going to be coming to an end. Um, sometime soon-ish, no date, we said. Um, mm -hmm. So would you recommend anybody that's thinking about joining the Patreon server, would you recommend they wait for a reset or come in now, get to know people and then be ready for the reset then? I mean, does it, does it matter to you guys? So here's the thing. If you join now, you get access to this season and next season. If you wait until next season, this server is going to stay up, even though we're going to run the next season. So we're running them side by side so that people oh. who have projects can have a little bit extra time to finish them. Okay. If you wait, if you wait to join uh, Impulse's Patreon until we start the next season, you won't have access to this season. Oh, so better, so we're better only, sooner than later. We're only... Yeah, yeah. We're only whitelisting new people to the new server. Okay. All so right. we'll yeah, freeze that's, the whitelist for this server. That makes sense. All right, well, there you go. I figured there might be some people that are seeing this and they're like, uh, you know, I heard you mention the season maybe come to an end. Should I wait or what? But there you go. There's your answer. So thank you for that. And of course, Absolutely. if you're interested at all, peeps, there's a link in the chat that Draconis posted to take a look at, at how this all works, how you get access to the server and stuff. Hit that link and that page will explain it. And um, not only are you gonna come in here and be hanging out with an amazing community, you're also helping to support me and my endeavors to eventually become a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> so there you go. Very cool, I love the factory. <laughs> it's just an enormous build. Oh, it's got we my branding by halves. all over it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I do love me a big factory. <laughs> so cool i love the so there's like this you, you got the um it's almost like radioactive sludge you got the, the the glass trick obviously um yeah this is this is the blood of many creepers <laughs> oh okay creeper blood all right i like that even got a little bit of a lore of the factory in here too <laughs> It goes pretty far out. This factory is just, yeah, <laughs> it's producing. <laughs> Very cool. Big old train tracks and everything. Yeah, we also have a big uh, sunflower garden just out in front uh, of the factory. Just, just caught a glimpse of it. Yep. This is a, uh, we have mod coins on the server, which is just a, a specially renamed, uh, sunflower that people can redeem so like if you accidentally built your build like two blocks too high you can redeem a mod coin and we'll come use world edit to to move it down for you um but when they turn in that mod coin we plant it in this garden oh and so this is all the favors people have cashed in for the past year <laughs> and a half or so <laughs> that's cool that is really cool. A little memorial of it. <laughs> yeah, and you can just earn those by by participating on community weekends, which are just there to help lag bust the server, light up caves under people's bases, things like that. You guys kind of have like your own version of Hermits helping Hermits going on. Exactly. Sounds like, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't know that. 
<laughs> you probably told me that before and it just and I, I forgot but that's 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 a really cool idea all good duke in the house what's up duke duke loves the idea of mod coins yeah it's smart my moderators are smart they run a really Sometimes. cool community it, it, unless they asked for somebody to make a storage system that has every item in the game <laughs> okay fine not gonna let you, you let that there. down now <laughs> not gonna let you let that one down now as soon as cal, as soon as cal said something you're like oh here we go <laughs> i will say i have not crashed the server yet abk can't say that ah there we go yes let's <laughs> moderator war everybody gets thrown under the bus let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh cool all right, where to next? There's so much to see. I know I don't have a lot of time to spend on the server today, but um, as as we've been uh, talking about, as the thing as we wind down and get ready for a new season, I know that there'll be at least one big tour to recap everything that's been done on here. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we if don't get to everything to, today, it'll be all right. Right. If you want to TP to me, there's the Steward Town Hall. Our stewards are kind of our community. Uh, leaders if you will they're the ones that run like community contests community weekend just takes a lot off of the moderators plate they're not moderators but they they help out quite a bit with mm -hmm. community events and so we wanted them to have a staging area that was not the mod basement which is not pretty <laughs> <laughs> it is functional not pretty welcome and stewards were... get in our basement yeah that doesn't exactly send the best message does it <laughs> right so they, they built this beautiful beautiful town hall that the moderators are not jealous of at all and have not ever 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 pranked and did not start a no. mayoral no. campaign no, don't say the mods no i'm a sympathetic steward a couple of mods pranked but not the mod team <laughs> Cal is like, I'm having none of this. <laughs> I I was over here helping the stewards fend off the, the mean old mods. Oh. <laughs> so they have their little offices in here and they use their own maps with, with their logos and stuff on it uh, to mark their desks. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. So the, the mini blocks, the, the, the player heads, mm -hmm. how, how do these get acquired? So people change their skin and then just murder each other. No, oh, okay, okay. They do it the the easy Eventual way, the, the, the normal way, the normal yes. way. It's not it's not uh, mod magic or whatever you guys call it. Mad magic. Nope. Mod, ma <laughs> uh, we we can okay. do that. We'll do that for for a mod coin. If you're like, I don't want to kill myself sixty four times, but I need a stack of these heads. We'll do that. Uh, okay, okay. It's more like mod coins are a time saver thing usually. Yeah, makes sense. Quality of life in a way, right? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, is this the one and only dragon egg? And then I looked over and there's another one. So <laughs> that, that was one of the things that kept getting pranked as moderators would come in here and punch the egg to make it move. <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> um, so how many stewards do we have? Uh, right now we have seven. Is it the seven, heads? Yeah. Is it the heads that I'm looking at? Yes. All right. There you go. And we like to have uh plenty of people so that no one ever oh. things are going well so it's a division of labor thing yeah gotcha my discord cut out for a second but i think we cut the message so a lot of the, a lot of the people that we were just watch, looking at their islands and stuff are actually here uh doing steward stewardship duties as well I don't know how people have the time to, to manage all these either moderated or sewer roles and then and then also <laughs> go build islands that win contests. <laughs> We're all introverts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> now, nah, this is cool. It's nice that they have a, they have a, a table to uh, come have their meetings at. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> they, they paid a mod coin for us to install a command block up there. We have a, a way to stay organized on Discord where if a request comes in, we will reaction to it with either, you know, the moderator head that's taking care of it or the command block of the steward is taking care of it. Oh, wow. So that's that's how we that's how we stay organized so that two people don't pick up the same issue. Pretty fancy. So the command block is kind of the the symbol of the stewards. So when they asked for the command block it was uh i thought it was a nice touch yeah 
Let's make sure it's not programmed with anything. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, prank coming in. <laughs> uh, yeah, this place is nice. Give ABK about 10 seconds for stream delay to catch up and he'll be like, No, oh, no, yeah. no, hang on. Uh, I can ban him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anything else on the docket today? Uh, that depends on, on how much time you have, because we, we always have at least an extra hour's worth of content of just in case. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Let's do this, um, because I am double streaming today. Let's let's do one more, and then that way I get a little bit of break before our Among Us stream tonight to recover my voice and, and all that stuff. You okay, know. if you just want to do a flyby of the industrial district, then just kind of take a look. We have every uh farm here and it's public use if you afk for it you get whatever comes out of it oh, there's cool. manual there's automatic this is just to help people get started and people who maybe don't want to build farms at their base they just want to build pretty things they can come here and get everything they get, need yeah get the supplies yeah we That's even cool. have a uh, we even have the the smelter array uh in case people you know need a bunch of stuff smelted up um, and they don't want to build a oh. big thing in base. Got the brown moose shoes even, jeez. <laughs> every animal. I think at one point we even had every type of bunny, but I think uh, an ocelot got in here at one point. Yeah. I'm exploring. Okay, yeah, here's the smelter room. Cool. Everything's marked with instructions, so... People know what's going on. Yep, and if anything breaks, we have a redstone channel um, and we ask people just post there or post in our Ask a Mod channel and just let us know, hey, it broke, I don't know how to fix it. And <laughs> we'll get it taken care of. Yeah, no no hands are slapped too hard, I'm assuming. Nah. Accidents accidents happen. I gotta go to inspect it. My first week on the server, I accidentally blew up Rill's shop. So <laughs> she was so terrified of me, and I have no and, idea why. And somehow you still worked your way up to become a moderator after yeah, that, huh? I mean, yeah, blow up, blow up shops become a moderator. It's a, it's a good system. <laughs> now, Cal, <laughs> just be honest about it, fix your mistakes, and let us know if you can't fix it, and we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Honesty goes a long way, not only on uh, Minecraft servers, but in life. <laughs> Adding that to the words of wisdom quote book. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lots of stuff here. Definitely lots of stuff. Buildings everywhere with all different types of farms. Looks like a place to cut down trees. I will leave that alone. And <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a boom boom tree farm. Uh, it breaks occasionally, but uh, Firewolf uh, is very, very good about getting on here and fixing it as soon as Ah, it okay. This must be it. Yeah. I wonder what design this is. Who built this? Firewolf. Firewolf, okay. Oh, Firewolf's really good at redstone. It could easily be Firewolf's own design, but I wonder if uh, Firewolf got it for somebody else. Firewolf, if you're listening... <laughs> I'd like to know the answer. Hit me up. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. It's El Mango. Okay. Modified it some. All right. Well, I'll just do what I did last time. Come in here and uh, spectator and take all the screenshots and... and... <laughs> Absolutely. I believe you, you used Firewolf's uh, whack and armor stand. The armor stand. Yep. Yep. That's mm -hmm. how I knew Firewolf was definitely good at redstone. There was some redstone techniques at, in whack of whack-a-mole that uh, I'd never seen before. And so I was super impressed. He is a very smart cookie. Yep, for sure. For sure. Yeah, if you look down, uh, the slime farm has been here since day one. <laughs> oh my god! This gosh. is one of the first farms here. Wow. It was a, a three chunk slime junk. Whew. That's a lot to dig to out. We had to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, turn it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man yeah that's that's a big that's a big dig since day one somebody came in here and dug out 
Uh, yeah, I think there was like six people. Um, it was a good time. Yeah. Honestly, you see all these big digs around the server and you're like, oh my gosh, that must have taken forever. This community is crazy. You give them a dig project and bam, one weekend it's done. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, people working together and getting to know each other. That's what Absolutely. I liked about when when I set up Patreon and I was I was trying to figure out, you know, what to do for rewards and stuff. Having a community server was one of the first things I thought of because it just felt right to have a, a place for because I get asked all the time where people can go to be on a server and meet people. And it felt right to do a Patreon server because people come in already having something in common. Chances are they know who I am and they watch, you know, my my videos. And so you already get to come in and meet people that you don't know, but you already immediately have something in common. You're probably a Hermitcraft watcher or, you know, an Impulse watcher, whatever. And so you at least can talk to somebody you don't know for the first time and have that conversation about, oh, hey, did you see Impulse's last video? Or, hey, did you see Mumbo's last video? Or whatever. And immediately um, feel more comfortable with each other, right? Yeah, it was, um, I, I struggle a lot with uh, social anxiety and uh, it's kind of the joke now that like they were watching me because I worried, you know, but um, they, they didn't let me, they didn't let me stay. Mm -hmm. uh, they, it's a great community. They, they helped me conquer a lot of that anxiety and I have a wonderful, wonderful family now because of it. And That's I awesome. love every last one of them to bits. That's super cool. Those are the stories that, that make me feel really good about the fact that we were able to put this together and I couldn't have done it. Like I said before, I couldn't have done it without the moderators. They, they literally take care of like 99.999% of the entire patron server community, everything. So we do yeah. try to make sure that you don't have to do anything <laughs> at all <laughs> that takes away from your content creation time. Yeah, yeah, and I do appreciate that. So thank you, mods and stewards and everybody here uh, on the server that has this made such an amazing community. I will be back um, when it is time to wrap up this season, which is, uh, like we said, we don't have a date, but it's, it's, it's around the corner sometimes. So we'll be back and, and people that are just tuning in and haven't seen other places on the server uh, we'll try to show off the best bits next time I'm on. So that will be super fun. Heresy said he has a book he wants you to read. Yep. Uh, ABK's poking me about it. I'm going to survival so I don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> Lessons learned. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It removed every effect. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> A tiny memoir. Um, as of this moment, I have 11 days or 266 hours or 16,000 minutes or 960,000 seconds till I'm home. This is the last time you'll visit the server while I'm here in India. Oh my goodness. And I truly don't think I could have made it without you and this amazing community. Thank you. Here's to a new season of life and hermitcraft. Piercy, thank you so much. That is amazing. And um, he, everyone on this server has a story, you know, yep. uh, about how the community has helped him. Heresy has been stuck in India because of COVID. Oh, and wow. And the server has kept him sane. Jeez. Okay. I thought maybe we were just there for work or something, but it's like literally stuck there. Can't come back. That's wow. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your story. That's that's crazy town. Thank you. And uh, can't wait to have you back. I <laughs> hope you make it back safe. <laughs> yeah, Heresy's not alone either. I'm mean, gonna see people in chat. Yep, craziness, craziness. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up uh, with with the mods here. You know, I gotta say goodbyes to the chat and stuff for a minute. Um, but thank you so much, Cal and Rill, for leading me through the Skyblock tour and. And the tour here on the server, you guys set it up. So it's just make my life easy. You're very welcome. Real's literally welcome. like, Real's literally like, okay, here's your itinerary for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. All right, well, I'll let you go. And um, yeah, thanks again. I'm gonna put myself back in 
creative mode at least so I don't get murdered <laughs> while I'm doing nothing here on the server. Um, but we'll talk to you later. Thank you again. All right. Pretty cool stuff, right? Every time I'm on, I see stuff and I take screenshots and I'm like, yep, I gotta, I gotta borrow that design. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I definitely saw some really cool stuff here today and on the Skyblock server. It's just amazing how much work uh, people put in and ingenuity and all that behind everything. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. I'm always blown away. Uh, Jared Joe, thank you so much for the two months. Ruby Red 89 with 100 bits. Says thanks for the visit. It's always not, it's always nerve wracking having you here. <laughs> Must impress. But you were so nice and fun to talk to. Love your content. I look forward to more content. Thank you so much, Ruby. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good seeing uh, everything you've been up to. So thank you for having me. You know, I I was impressed. <laughs> I'm always, like I said, I'm always impressed. I, I I don't consider myself the best at builder. So when I see the work. That others do and, and just how creative people are i'm just i love it i love it wayward wood wood elf thank you so much for the prime sub welcome to sub club and channel badger emotes gaming science thanks for gifting out that sub crash pad thanks for the prime sub as well danny in the house how you doing danny being amazing as always 200 biddies it was so great to see all that really amazing really need a pc i did see i did see a message in chat that it would be cool to have a bedrock server as well um me obviously being a java you know, PC player since the very beginning. Um, wasn't ever sure if Bedrock was going to get big as far as having communities and things like that. So I, it didn't occur to me really to, to create a Bedrock patron server. It's definitely something to think about though. <laughs> I'd have to make sure, you know, we could support it properly like we do this one here. You know, it's a, it's a team of people behind this server making it run. So, uh, yeah, I see. I see. There's probably a lot of bedrock only players in chat that would love to have a place like this. So I will definitely consider that, and um, we'll see. We'll see if I can put something together. Who knows? Ren server has a plugin to allow bedrock to join Java. Interesting. I will talk to Ren. That would be cool. Yeah, Banker Derek says that'd be nice. I would join a bedrock server. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will, uh, I'll look into that. I'll give you my word. I'll look into that. Real, thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> Appreciate that. I sold, thank you so much for the 500. I don't know what's more impressive. The builds and the farms or the warmth and kindness of the server. Wow. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. Blademan03, thanks for the two months. Whoop, whoop. You guys are awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying they would join if it was Bedrock. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see that there's a, a need there a gap to fill <laughs> okay um so i did mention i'm going to be back for among us yeah i'm so excited i haven't played among us uh if you're gonna be here in what just under four hours from now for among us i do want to warn you one thing i haven't played among us in a while so i'm a little nervous that i'm gonna be terrible <laughs> But I'm not going to let it get to me. I don't think. I won't let, I'll try not to let it get to me if I'm bad. <laughs> I got to I got to get warmed up again maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I maybe I'm, maybe I'm being pessimistic, but uh yeah, I, I do feel like I'm going to be quite rusty. So, be ready for for some derpage probably. Um but I hope you do join us. Like I said, just under 4 hours from now, 3 hours and 42 minutes. <laughs> I say terrible, you say entertaining. Okay, we'll do it for the lulls. We'll do it for the lulls. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it for sure. So I'm going to take a little bit of break. And, and I hope to see you back, like I said, in three hours and 42 minutes from now, when we will totally not be late um, because we're trying a new mod. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys haven't hit the follow button, uh, please do. We're at 142,836 followers here on Twitch. Um, hitting the 150k mark would be pretty sweet. Yesterday, by the way, we hit 1 million views here on Twitch, which is an insane, insane milestone. So thank you guys for that. Thanks for tuning in and uh, getting us to a million views. That was awesome. Oh, also, I, I announced on Twitter today, I hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. All these milestones have, lately have just been super awesome. So 
Thanks everybody for your support. And we are gonna keep it rolling. I have plans. I have plans. We're not slowing down. In fact, we may be putting our foot on the gas, if you know what I mean. We'll see. So anyway, all right, hope to see you back tonight. I'm gonna find somebody to raid. Who we got going on? Okay, okay, okay. Evan and Caitlin were in here earlier. I was razzing them about spying on them or, you know, lurking on their Twitter. Um, they were in here being super kind. I want to um, to help support them back. Evan and Caitlin are really, really cool peeps. And they're playing some Subnautica. I know it's not Minecraft, but please give them a give them a view just for a little bit. And, and I think you will uh, you will really like them. They are cool peeps, like I said. So let's go ahead and raid Evan and Caitlin. And hopefully they keep you busy long enough. If not, they'll raid somebody, I'm sure, until I'm back in three hours and now 40 minutes <laughs> from now. So let them know I sent you. Give them some love. You guys are the best. I'll see you in a bit. Ruby, thanks for those 200 bits. I caught it. I caught it. Thank you. See you guys later.